e-cigarettes, um, I, I share your view a, a long way. They are clearly much safer than tobacco smoking, and they have become a much liked way of stopping smoking. So I'm quite relaxed about that. Uh, if they help people stop, they're so much safer, I would like them to use them. And I would encourage the NHS smoking cessation services to, um, to work with that. And there are a few trials which, which support mm. them as a way of stopping smoking. So, but then there's a world of difference between are they good, are they safer? Yes. Um, and are they good for smoking? Uh, cessation, uh, probably, but that's always a personal issue, what, what works for the individual. And how should we treat them as a general usage issue? And I have concerns that for all they are much safer than smoking, we don't know their long-term side effects. And I would therefore like to... Not only do I reserve my position on this, I would like us to be careful. It did take us 50 years, as I said earlier, to discover the harm of tobacco. And so being much safer doesn't mean it is safe. Um, there, is, there is some early evidence from um, cell culture that the, uh, it's probably the glycerol um, or formaldehyde, but that these can change cellular behaviour. So inhaling that into your lungs, if you're susceptible, may lead to long-term problems. I'm quite concerned about the flavourings because for all they may be reasonably safe when eaten, what happens when you inhale them? So there's the, the story that gives this um, some understanding is butterscotch, which I happen to like. And um, apparently they made... Butterscotch, I like all good things. Apparently they made uh, butterscotch in hay in, 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 for vaping and then discovered that it gave people fibrotic lungs. And it is well known to respiratory physicians that inhaled butterscotch, you can get butterscotch a worker's lungs. So what else is going to happen? We don't know. My personal view is we should treat them like we do uh, tobacco products, as well as having them there for cessation. So I would um, not uh, have them smoked in public places. I hate it when I walk past someone and they waft vapour over me. And I think here we are talking about pollution. Um, we want people to live in clean air. Why do we let them smoke in public places and waft it all over us? The fact it's much safer for them is true, but I don't want it. Um, so I would treat it the same. I know we are very careful with strength, with volume, and um, where they can advertise, but I find it offensive to drive down roads and see big uh, hoardings advertising them, showing them as cool as a new lifetime, that life style. I worry that the big four tobacco companies have bought up a number of them, including Juul. Now, why would they do that? They must be going to proselytise and push them. So I think if you put all that together, of course we want them available for people to stop smoking. And that, I don't mind if in the privacy of their own houses or gardens they continue I just don't want us to set an example to children of them being smoked or used publicly. I don't want that pollution, and I don't want it put over as a cool lifestyle because it's an addictive product. Why introduce and have it openly available, a new addictive product? We've got enough. 